in Jining City, Shandong Province, China. Now picture this. These leftover coal mining areas were subsiding in many places, leaving water-filled holes everywhere because of long-term coal mining. A vast area of over 447 square kilometers changed into a coal mining subsidence area. How to recover these areas to achieve both targets on environment management and economic growth? The contemporary green energy Xinlong photovoltaic power station is a good example to achieve these goals. The project was built on the water surface in the coal mining subsidence area of around 4 square kilometers. It uses the water surface of the coal mining subsidence area as the photovoltaic project site without taking up the farmland, and it successfully transformed the less environmental area into an energy generation hub. The project completed the full capacity grid connection in January 2024 and now generates an average of 380 million kilowatt hour annually, equal to the annual electricity consumption of 160,000 households. That's a double win for both the economy and the environment. Do you want to know how the Yanzhou project does it? Just follow me to undercover the secret. In Yanzhou, the geological conditions of the coal mining subsidence area are complex, with some areas still unstable and many areas with water depth of more than 3 meters. After many discussions, we decided a plan with high density polyethylene floating photovoltaic system combined with a fixed bracket photovoltaic system. The whole system's duration can last over 25 years. We are talking about a super durable floating solar system. These pipes use the water's force to keep the solar panels afloat. They have connected the front and the rear row support with rows and anchors to ensure the entire system remains strong even in the deep water. This plan is very suitable for the site condition of deep water zones in coal mining subsidence areas which supports the project to proceed successfully. To improve the usage of these water areas, the project also adopted advanced double-sided glass N-type high-efficiency battery models. Compared to regular models, the specific type can absorb sunlight from both sides, increasing power generation by 5% to 30%. The double glass structure is designed to prevent water steam leaks into the model battery and stringent electrical isolation. This model takes less coal mining subsidence surface area to reach the same power efficiency compared with the normal model. The water surface photovoltaic system helps clean up the water and improve the environment. At the same time, the project can also take the benefits of the water's reflective properties and stable temperatures to achieve a 3% to 5% increase in power generation. Although it has many difficulties, but we successfully overcome it. Just as CATL's missions and goals, we aim to serve citizens by using innovative energy and technology solutions. And it's a huge victory to environmental management. Cutting down on millions of coal use and emissions while also solving the management of over 8 square kilometers of coal mining subsidence land. The phase 1 of the CGE Yanzhou photovoltaic project brings together advanced photovoltaic technologies from multiple aspects, providing new ideas for environmental governance in coal mining areas. It generates about 380 million kilowatt hour of electricity per year saving about 151,000 tons of standard coal per year, reducing about 378,000 tons of carbon dioxide emissions 